Hi guys, welcome to my English channel. So today's tutorial is inspired by a beautiful celebrity, Shay Mitchell, on the makeup that she wore on the red carpet of Teen Choice Awards. Not red carpet, blue carpet. Ooh. <laughs> so when I first saw the makeup, I'm like, oh my God, it's amazing. And then after I did a blog post on it, you guys requested a lot. So here is the tutorial and it's a makeup that you can wear to many occasions at night, to parties, wedding parties, to a night out with your friends. It's a super sexy, feminine, powerful makeup. So I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And before we go, I want to teach you a portrait. Portuguese word, of course. Today I'm gonna teach you how to say wedding because this could be a makeup that you can wear to a wedding party. So in Portuguese you say casamento. Repeat with me, casamento. I really hope you like the video and let's get started. Okay, so first step to the eyes is a eye primer. So I applied this one by Urban Decay which is eating all over my eyelid. And then next, what I'm going to do is take a brown eye pencil, and this is by J. Manuel, and the color is Hex. And I'm gonna apply it close to my lash root, on my top and bottom eye. Since I'm already working with eyeliners, I'm gonna take my black, my favorite black one, which is Eclipse by Sigma which is a dual eye pencil, so I'm gonna take the black and line my waterline to make it very intense. Okay, next step, I'm going to take my pencil brush and smudge the brown liner here close to my lash root and bottom eye. And once you smudge just the eyeliner, you already have, you know, a dramatic touch to the eye but we're gonna start making it pretty right now Ooh, I'm excited about this eye look it has been a while that I don't do such a dramatic look for you guys right so next I'm going to take the beautiful shadow that's gonna be the main shadow of the eye look which is this I would say like a grapey color but it's like a red with a purple undertone, kind of like, kind of like with a brown undertone, uh, this shadow right here, okay? Which is very similar to what she is wearing. And this palette is very special because I actually swatched a bunch of palettes that I have here and this shadow is what worked the best. And this palette is very special to me because it's by Chic by Karina. Karina was a girl, a very special girl in my life that I knew she had cancer. Unfortunately, uh, she died and uh, her mom created a line which had always been her dream to have a makeup line. And today all the funds raised with her line goes to charity. So it's very special and um, it's, you know, the products are beautiful. So I'm gonna leave the links here below so you guys can check it out, but it's a, this palette especially, it's gorgeous, you see? So I'm gonna use this one right here. So with the pencil brush, I'm gonna take this and apply it all over, first starting on top of the brown pencil that we smudged, and all over my eyelid, there you go. And also a little bit here on my under eye. Now I'm gonna take a small blending brush. All my brushes are by Sigma. I'm gonna link uh, their website as well. All the list of products will be on my blog. Check it out. So I'm just gonna blend all of this. And I'm gonna blend it on a cat eye motion because she has this effect on her smoky eye, which is beautiful. So I'm gonna get a little bit more shadow and smoke 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 and here we're already creating this cat eye effect and now I'm gonna take the highlighting shadow right here and highlight under my brow and next I'm gonna take a fluffier blending brush and this shadow Riff by Urban Decay which is a very warm light brown and I'm gonna apply it on my crease area to create 
this gorgeous natural this gorgeous natural what <laughs> it just makes it like you know blending a lighter shadow with a darker shadow it just makes it more natural and then you don't have harsh lines so it's like it goes from light to dark you know we call it degradé in portuguese but i don't know how you, there's no translation for that actually but you guys get me right so now 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 i'm gonna take a very dark matte brown with the same um eye pencil pencil brush i mean <laughs> And I'm gonna apply it here under the eyes to mix it with the beautiful shadow. And it's just, and basically it's just to make it a bit darker and create more depth, like she's using. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is add some glam to this eye. I see that she has a little bit of glitter or a glittery shadow. Um, on her lid, so I'm gonna take the lithium shadow from this gorgeous from this gorgeous Urban Decay palette, which is the Moon Dust, and I'm gonna take this one. And on my finger, you can take like a gold shadow and just dab it on top. Okay, and this is gonna create a gorgeous effect. Okay, there you go. And now I'm going to, since we're done with shadows, I'm going to apply concealer. And I'll tell you guys what I used on my skin so far, okay? So this is NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, my favorite in custard. It's my color. And I'm just gonna blend it with my Sigma brush, which is my favorite for concealer. This is the F84. There you go, and it just highlights everything, and it makes you look amazing. Okay, so now I'm gonna apply eyeliner. So I'm just gonna apply eyeliner really close to my lash root, just to make it dark and more dramatic, and it will enhance my lashes as well. So I'm gonna use my favorite liner of the moment, the Lancome Grandiose Liner. I've talked about this so many times, especially on my Snapchat. Um, because I'm really obsessed with it. And why I love it? Because it's super black, first thing that I look for on a liner, that it's very black, because some aren't as black, you know? And it makes such a difference at the end. Not only the packaging is so cool, like it bends on a 35 degree angle, I feel so cool when I'm applying this. Because it's like, it's it gives you the same effect as a brush, you know, like those brushes that bend. So it makes it really easy to apply. It has a super fine uh, tip and it's water-based. So, so it won't smudge and it's good for sensitive eyes. And I'm gonna start applying it really close to my lash root. And I don't know if, I, there's so many things about this liner, but it's matte finish too. So right when you apply it, it dries which is great because it won't you won't like get it on your lid you know so a lot of times you apply liner and then you blink and you get it on your makeup so it dries really fast and you just shake it and when you want to reapply it you have to shake it and before you apply it too and you get the product right there i love that the tip is so tiny so you can really like perfect so I'm not gonna do a cat eye but I'm just gonna do a regular normal line okay all right so yeah that's it for liner super fast and now I'm gonna apply my mascara and my favorite of the moment as well is the grandiose extreme by Lancome which looks like this I've also talked a lot about this on my snap and on videos it really gives me that false lash effect this was actually a award-winning mascara Ooh, how fancy it's really amazing so I'm just gonna apply it on my top lashes I don't really need uh, false lashes here but since she is wearing it's clear clearly clearly 
clearly she is wearing false lashes so I'm gonna put mine on but the eye is pretty much that and I'm just gonna apply my 105 by Ardell and I'll be right back so that is it for the eyes look how beautiful I'm obsessed with this I made it but I'm obsessed with it <laughs> I can, I can, right? Uh, so now I'm gonna finish the skin with you guys. And I'm just gonna quickly tell you what I have used. So for foundation, I used my Becca, which has really good coverage and it gives you like a matte finish. I don't need to do powder after it, so I love it. And as a concealer, you guys saw my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And now I'm gonna contour like I did on this side. She's not wearing blush, it doesn't seem. She just has like a beautiful contour on her face. So that's what I'm gonna do as well. And I'm gonna take my Lorac bronzer palette and I'm gonna use the Ten Diego shade. And I'm gonna take it with angled brush. And I'm gonna start applying it right under my cheekbones. A little bit on the side of the forehead, on the chin, to give it a beautiful contour. After I contour, I like to come back and touch up the concealer a little bit, just to keep this whole area highlighted. There we go. And now I'm actually going to highlight a little bit here on my cheekbone. And I'm gonna use the Becca Opal highlighter just a little bit and I'm gonna highlight right here just so that it looks amazing in photos okay so now we're just gonna finish the look with lipstick and she's wearing a super nude lip so what I'm gonna do is line my lips of course to give me Kylie Jenner's lips and I'm gonna use my 1993 by Urban Decay which is my favorite nude so on top, as a lipstick, I'm just gonna dab the 1993 as well by Urban Decay, but the lipstick version. Just dab it on as a base. But her nude is a bit lighter, so right when I saw it, I thought of Blankety by MAC. But I think that by itself is too light, so I'm just gonna put it on top, okay? And I love this color. So this is the finished look. I really hope you guys liked it and I hope that you can recreate this look with me for a night out, parties, weddings. You're gonna look gorgeous. And if you liked the video, please don't forget to rate it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't to see a new video every week. So I'll see you guys next time. Stay beautiful. Ooh. <laughs> Bye.